The California legislature wrapped up its business on Saturday, August 31st at midnight. But there's a lot of activity going on this fall as it relates to the legislature and future office holders. We're anticipating up to 34 new members of the legislature showing up in December after the November 5th elections are completed. To start off with, there are eight members of the California Assembly who are being termed out of office. Those eight members include Reggie Jones Sawyers, Chris Holden, Brian Manshine, Jim Patterson, Anthony Rendon, Freddie Rodriguez, Phil Ting, and Republican Marie Waldron. But there's a number of other members of the assembly that won't be returning next year beyond those that are termed out. And this includes Megan Dolly, who's running for the California Senate to replace her husband, the current Senator Dolly. It includes Assemblymember Jim Wood, who was retiring from the legislature before term limits would have forced him to. It also includes Assemblymember Kevin McCarty from Sacramento, who's running for the mayor of Sacramento. Carlos Villapudua, who lost his seat due to election engineering down in San Joaquin County. Tim Grayson, who's uh, running to replace a termed out senator. Evan Lowe. Uh, who is uh, leaving the legislature to run for a congressional seat that's become vacant down in San Jose. Devin Mathis from the Central Valley, who's leaving the legislature before his term is up. Eduardo Garcia, who is also retiring from the legislature. Luz Rivas, who's running for Congress, is giving up a couple of terms that she had left. Similar to Laura Friedman, who's also running for Congress and who's also giving up uh, years on her term in the Assembly. Eloise Reyes is running for a uh, open Senate seat. Wendy Carrillo uh, chose not to run for re-election and run for the LA City Council, but she lost that race. Miguel Santiago is also uh, stepping down after having lost a City Council race, and he's leaving a couple of years behind on his um, Assembly term. Sabrina Cervantes is trying to move to the Upper House, and she's running for the uh, Senate seat being vacated uh, in the Inland Empire. Assemblymember Akila Weber is also going to be leaving the Assembly and she's trying to replace Tony Atkins, who's terming out of her seat down in San Diego. And finally, there's Vince Fong, who uh, is in Congress right now, but who could get returned back to the Assembly if he loses his congressional bid this November, but wins his uh, race where his name is on for the Assembly. It's a little complicated with Vince, but it's likely Vince will stay a member of Congress. So all told, um, that is 24 members of the California Assembly that won't be returning um, uh, to office in the next 24, 2024 to 2026 session. Now we come to the members of the Senate. There are 10 members of the California Senate that are being termed out, and these include um, Tony Atkins, Steve Bradford, Brian Dolly, Bill Dodd, Susan Eggman, Steve Glazier, Anthony Portentino, Richard Roth, Nancy Skinner, and Scott Wilk. In addition to those 10 senators being termed out, Senator Dave Min is leaving the Senate early before his term's over, and he's running for a congressional seat against Scott Baugh down in Southern California. And then you have Senator Janet Nguyen who's interested in becoming an Orange County supervisor again. And if she wins that election, she will be resigning from the California Senate. So you've got at least 10 members in the Senate uh, that won't be returning and another uh, 24 members of the assembly. So we're looking at a record 34 members of the legislature heard, uh, will not be returning uh, in the 2024-2026 uh, session. So lots of changes coming to the legislature. Stay tuned for more details as they become available.